Local weather app from the App Store today. Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Stacy May. And we did have a pretty nice Wednesday, but then late this afternoon, those clouds began to roll in from the west, and they are bringing us some scattered showers and even a couple of isolated thunder showers here late this evening. Let's quickly look at the numbers first for today. We had a cool start this morning at 54 and then a warm finish at 86. Tonight, we will not get as cool as we have for well over a week now going down into the 50s. It's mostly cloudy and it's going to be a warmer night. Lows only in the mid 60s. And again, we have scattered showers moving through parts of the tri-state right now. Few areas of some moderate rain and even a little thunder possible uh, with that. And those will continue into tomorrow morning and then they'll diminish as we go through the afternoon. Then we've got a dry Friday on the way and it looks like we'll stay dry through the weekend. But here's the rain right now on live first warning Doppler radar. And you can see the bulk of it is to the south and to the west of Evansville right now. So let's first go up here to the west and northwest of Evansville. And this area of showers, which now you can see those yellow radar returns, have some areas of some moderate rain coming down as they move kind of pretty much from south to the north uh, northeast and you can see some of the heavier pockets from clay county over into uh, richland county through especially eastern wayne county and then much of edwards county and a few heavier pockets now down in parts of white county right along the wabash river uh, stretching over into uh, far western posey county and then as we go down into western kentucky not quite as widespread with the light to moderate rain but we have had this one area and this is where we've been picking up a little cloud to ground lightning right along the Union Webster County line and also uh, into uh, east of uh, the Dixon area and now pushing up into eastern Henderson County. So again, that's going to push up toward the Henderson and Evansville metro air and we could get some moderate to uh, heavy rain and can't roll out a rumble or two uh, of thunder too as that continues to push up to uh, the north northeast. Right now it's quiet in downtown Evansville. That's our superior ag tower camera there and it is a warm evening. 74 right now. Dew point though still very low and temperatures slowly falling through the 70s but mid 60s is all we're going to get for overnight lows tonight. So we've got the scattered showers now. They stay with us as we go through tonight. Then they diminish and push north tomorrow afternoon and then we're dry tomorrow night and we stay dry and get quite a bit of sunshine back uh, on our Friday. So tonight scattered showers, rumble of thunder mid 60s. Scattered showers diminish with some sun tomorrow afternoon afternoon, upper 70s to around 80. And then Friday is dry, mid 80s, so a little cooler tomorrow in the afternoon, but warmer Friday and Saturday as we begin fall this weekend. Low 80s on Sunday, still dry Sunday and Monday, and then some scattered rain chances return again uh, as we head into Tuesday and possibly Wednesday of next week. All right. Thank you, Stacy. And Eyewitness News will be right back.